Okay, so we want to give an example of a mapping from the set of even integers to the set of even integers that is not one to one and not on two. So real quick, let's remind ourselves what does it mean to be one to one and what does it mean to be on two? So to be one to one or to be injective, we know that our mapping or function is going to pass the horizontal line test. So if we look at a function such as f equals x squared, f of x equals x squared, if we look at this rough sketch, we can put a horizontal line through this mapping and see that there are two x values here and here that correspond to this one va y value, if this is x and this is y. So this function is not one to one. We can look at it more specifically and say if our function is f of x equals x squared, f of three equals three squared, f of negative three equals negative three squared, and these are both equal to nine. So since there are two x values that map to one y value, this function is not one to one. Now, if we want to remind ourselves what it means to be on two or surjective. If we have a function f that maps from a to b, so our domain is a and our codomain is b, f is on two if for all elements in B, let's say lowercase b in B, there is A in A, there's an element A in A, such that F of A equals B. So in other words, every element in our codomain B is mapped to by an element in our domain A. If there is an element in B that is not mapped to by an element in A, then F is not on two. Okay, so let's look at our example here. We want a function that maps from even integers to even integers that is not one to one and not on two. So, Let's consider the function f of x equals the absolute value of x. Okay, so let's pick an even integer. We know our domain is even integers, so let's pull something out of there. Let's say 2. So f of 2 equals the absolute value of 2, which equals 2. So we know negative 2 is also in our domain, which looks like this, 0, 2, 4, 6, and so on, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. So negative 2 is also there. So if we do f of negative 2, we have the absolute value of negative 2 equals 2. So here, like we saw in the example above in f of x equals x squared, we have two x values, negative two and two, that map to one y value, or one element in our codomain, two. So we can conclude here, since two doesn't equal negative two, so since these aren't the same value and it maps to this, the same value, f is not one to one. Okay, so we know that this function f of x equals the absolute value of x is not one to one. Now let's check if it's on two. Well, we know our function geometrically looks something roughly like this. Very rough, but. So 
we see this is our range. These are all possible values for our codomain. And like we saw before, this is going to be negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, and so on. So if our mapping is going up to positive infinity on both sides, none of these value, negative values are being mapped to by any of these values that are also even integers. So if we just pick one of these, let's say negative 4, since negative 4 is an element of our range even of even integers and there is no such x such that the absolute value of x equals negative 4 since the absolute value only yields positive numbers we can say f is not on two. So f of x equals the absolute value is one of many examples of a mapping from even integers to even integers that is not one to one and not on two.